welcome to your daily dose of reviewing stuff the series that i'm going to review a bunch of random things all together and make that into the one of the episodes of this daily dose of reviewing stuff and for today's episode here i'm going to review the couple of things that i've ordered before that and what do we have here oh well this is cheap but this one expensive all right so what do we have in here? Not gonna spoil, but I'm going to spoil in a few seconds from now. And alright, without any further ado, let's get this episode started. Alright, so back to question. What do we have in here? Alright, so the first off is bring the tripod. Oh well, what do we have in here in the first place? And the second one is bring the fast drive. Oops, I'm not gonna spoil it. This thing is so expensive, but you're going to see that in a few minutes or a few seconds or whatever it is. And this thing right here, oh well, it contains a lot of storage capacity. And this thing, what it makes is even more expensive is that this thing, it has a brand on it. No surprise of why this thing is so expensive. And also, they have a Type C on it. So. Alright, so right now we only sugar hesitate. Let's get the first one to unbox it. And here's the tripod I bought here. So this is a SEMA PRO CD1 This is basically a mini vlog tripod that I bought here As you can see on the box here It shows off the parts that you might going to need to mount everything together onto this tripod set right here Whatever it is And inside the box We got the phone mount itself along with the tripod on it As you can see here, here's the tripod. Huh, this is how cute it is. It's so cute, look at that. And anyway, I choose this one in brown. So you can see that the color is in brown. I think it's brown camouflage, I think. So that's why they call it a khaki. And here's the phone mount that it came through the mount. There, as you can see here, here it says Cinema Pro or Cima Pro in this case CD1, and you can retact the phone mount out like this. Look, what is it doing? Oh, there we go, it kind of managed to work. And this thing right here is spring power, and you can make it in portrait like this. Oh, what the how do I turn into portrait? Um, I think we have error right here. What? Uh, oh well. I think, I think from the listings, it says this thing, it can be rotate in portrait. But although, I don't know what I'm doing here right now. How does it, how does it work? Oh, there we go. It kind of managed to work. So as you can see here, <laughs> here's what it looks like when I got this thing in portrait. And fortunately, I do have some smartphones that I'm going to test with, which I'm going to use my old phone to do this test. And here it is. This is my old Huawei P8 from like 2017 or 2018. And the phone itself, it was released back in 2015. So this is actually the old phone, actually about six or eight years ago now. So, and right now I'm going to mount the phone onto the phone mount and see what it looks like. Oh, pfft. I think we have to switch back to the landscape. Oh, there we go. Kind of managed to work. And right now I'm going to mount the phone. Oh, damn you. Let's go all the way. Okay, let's go all the way. All right, so, and here's what it looks like when I got the phone to mount. So as you can see here, here's what it looks like. And right now I'm going to mount it onto the tripod. And then here is what it looks like. Flip to portrait, and there we go. You're ready to go to go on block. Haha, <laughs> this 
just know how cool this thing is. And for the man right here, which I pretty assume that is so weak. Look at that, judging by the plastic, which, oh well, just look at this. <laughs> just know how weak this thing is. Look at that. <laughs> so, and I pretty assume that this part right here is going to break apart at any time, but although I think I got this one brand new, so there's might be no problems that I would going to experience with this. Alright, so that's basically it for the Sima Pro CD1, which is a mid-sized block tripod. And right now, time for a second one, which it is a fast drive. Alright, so it kind of came with this cardboard box right here for some reason and you're going to see why this thing is so expensive Alright, get ready? Slice through a cardboard and then the reveal Inside the box we got Sandis Ultra Duo Drive Go USB Type-C And you're going to see a reason why it's so expensive is that Just look at the storage capacity It's 512 gigabytes Not megabyte, it's gigabyte this time As you can see here, it's suitable for PC, Mac, and iPad Pro And judging by the head right there, which I presume that is the Type-C And the other end there is for connecting to your computer and stuff and on the back right there, there's nothing but some information about the thing and that old Google Play logo right there. And as you can see here, this thing is 100% authentic, which it has this sticker right there that says Trust by Cinex. Good choice. And right now, I'm going to pierce the, oh well, the package with a cutter once again, just like what I did to the micro SD card. Slice in! Kinda managed to. You can do it. You can do it, boy. Come on. Ah, nice. Look at that. Synex, I trust you. All right. So I kind of pierce it into a package. And inside the package, we got the flash drive. Oh, there's some plastic behind there. Remove that. And here is the thumb drive. Which I presume that this thing is so small and it is cute. Look at that. And you've got two sides here. One for the Type-C and the one for the USB. And here it says 512 gigabytes of capacity. As you can see here, this thing is made in China. Complete made in China. So as you can see here, you've got a Type-C once again, and USB 3.0, which is going to be a convenient to store my data in there to prevent from a ransomware attack or whatever, which this thing right here is going to store all of my data inside this, or even my video clips, which I recorded onto my, over my computer or whatever. So, at this thing right here, I'm going to test it with my phone. Which, it's right behind me. Don't be a baby. And right now, I got my phone to work, and right now I'm going to put it in, in 3, 2, and 1. Alright, I got the USB to work, and then wait for it to recognize, and there we go. It recognized as a USB flash drive, I think, for transferring photos and media. And right now, I'm going to double tap on that to see the files and right away it doesn't even have anything on it but apart from managed phone memory and send this memory zone dot apk and the demo file was from october 16 2019 and right now i'm going to take a look at the files that came with so right now i'm going to open the drive and see oh there it is which is basically an installation guide to this send this happy memories stuff 
right there which I'm not going to need this but since I have the files to do of that already so and right now I'm going to take a look at its fast capacity which where is it oh there it is sorry settings as you can see here wait for it and then you got 494 gigabytes which almost 512 gigs of storage so but although it's not even that far away from there which oh well they kind of just cut about 10% of its actual capacity and then they just kind of cut it to 494 gigabytes which from what the 512 gigs is supposed to be and right now I'm going to eject the thing there we go pretty easy isn't it all right so and for this teal color sand this mini trump drive right here which has a whopping capacity of 512 gigabytes of storage right here which i'm gonna say the only reason why i bought this thing here because i'm going to back up my personal data from my old computer which oh well i'm gonna say it's my current one that i'm using right now and speaking of my old laptop, which right now I have to turn on on the next day and right now I'm filming this video on March 22 and right now it's 6.40 in the morning and right now you can clearly see that right now I have my old laptop turned on but not on a primary screen but on a secondary screen and the only reason why I use a secondary screen to do all of the work and stuff it is because on my primary screen of my laptop which somehow it has a black scorching on the corner of the screen which it makes that right there becomes a black void and it doesn't even show any pixels on there but although right now that black scorching mark is being solved by just power it from a secondary screen and then you can use it like a personal computer but instead of just bring an actual laptop but although for this old laptop that I have here right now I've been having it since back in 2021 and right now it's been almost two years now that I live with this outdated windows with this old laptop here but at least it has a core i5 inside here but although at least it works and I would have to be patient enough to get the things up to work like video editing or drawing and stuff so and right now I'm going to plug my send this dual drive go 512 gigabytes into my computer to see if my computer would recognize it or not and right now I'm going to plug it in in 3 2 and 1 not exciting at all just plug it in all right I just heard a windows noise and then here it says there's a problem with this drive scan the drive now and fix it no I'm not going to scan it and as you can see right now the only thing that I would see is just this mysterious folder right here which it says lost DIR so and the only way that I could actually get rid of this folder here is just delete it out of its existence and there we go you have it to work and you can clearly see that right now this folder is empty which right now I have removed both the PDF file and the app which whatever they call a SanDisk memories or something which I do have it on my phone in my downloads I think <coughs> sorry for my sore throat again and you can clearly see that right now I have it on my phone in my downloads wait for it and you can see that right now I have a SanDisk memory sound app dot apk and here's the PDF and you're going to see it right now and you can see that this is basically a PDF that is going to teach you how to install this app but at least it has a newer Google Play right there so you see it says get it on Google Play with a new version so but instead of just bring an old version <laughs> and right now this USB flash drive here is empty and you can clearly see that right now everything is empty and I couldn't see the other folder either which is called Assistant One Information which is another mystery folder that appear when I'm going to import my files from my computer to my phone which is probably due to some oh well some Android stuff going on here which it makes my computer it actually does recognize as a USB drive but it says it has a problem and you have to do something with the drive which I think it's not going to be a big deal of this anyways so and right now we're on the further nonsense let's get some sample to work 
So first of all, I'm going to get some samples from 720p widths. I think the first of all, which I would go for the image, which I'm going to get this image here to work. This is this is some sort of a thumbnail that I use in the one of my videos where I have reviewed this iPad case right here. Oh, and right now I'm going to get both images. And right now I'm going to copy and paste to this USB drive and then to see if it recognizes and you can see that right now it does recognize and right now I have two of them and right now I'm going to open it up to see if it works and you can clearly see that right now it's working and it's begging me to import new photos and videos from this drive no thanks and for the image which it actually recognizes and it reads and right now if I take it to this PC and you can clearly see that right now it's in FAT32 and right now it is 460 gigabytes free of 460 gigabytes which what it actually does is just reduce from the 10% of its actual capacity and you can clearly see that the actual capacity it was 494 gigabytes, but on my computer, which it says 460 gigabytes. I think this is actually going to be a factory standard that it is actually bring you know 512 gigabytes of storage now since it was firstly made. But although I think it's not going to be a big deal anyways that they actually reduce 10% for what the actual capacity is supposed to be. And right now, I'm going to get some sample videos to work. And right now, I'm just going to zoom in a bit to get an idea. And right now, you get an idea. And I'm going to choose for... So 20p widths. And right now, I'm going to get this video to work. And oh well, I just changed my mind to the unseen content right here. So, and wish it has a whopping 3.59 gigabytes and the sound of this it is 3.59 gigabytes it contains three files zero folders and was created back in february 18 2023 which oh well i just actually created this folder here to store this unseen content here so i created this folder this year so not a long time ago though and right now i'm going to get the sample here and right now I'm going to paste it into this flash drive and you can clearly see that right now it's copying off the files which if I'm gonna count the folder and you can see that right now it's copying off the three files and the one is bringing an unreleased blog video which it was like the video where I'm doing a moving on video which I kind of move up from an 8 gigabyte to a 128 gigabyte. And meanwhile, I'm waiting for another time. I'm going to talk about my conclusions that how I think or I thought about this Sima Pro CD1 right here, which and to keep the cost out of this video, I'm going to talk about it as fast as possible. So, and first of all, the Sima Pro CD1 right here, which I'm gonna say is a cute little block tripod, but although it couldn't be adjustable or anything, it's just a simple looking mini block tripod that you can mount your phone with and the only design flaw of this Sigma Pro CD1 right here is that the phone mount which right now I'm going to get my Huawei P8 to demonstrate once again so I'm going to bring back my Huawei P8 once again and then I'm going to show you what the flaw is so and here's the flaw for example if you really want to get your phone onto this mount quickly it's just going to be like oh well you see but every time you put your phone like this against this part here, it's going to fold back in like that. And the only way that I can actually go to mount my phone onto the cinema mount or the Cinema Pro CD1 here is only to hold the bottom one and then you put your phone on and you're ready to go. And you're ready to go to block with this little tripod here. Or you can actually go to flip to portrait like this if you want to shoot some portrait photos or videos. You can either use it upside down like that 
to get some low angle wheels or high angle wheels, something like that. Or you can actually just go into flip to upside down portrait if we want. And you can flip back to a landscape if you want to record a video in landscape or 16 by 9. And if you want to remove your phone from this mount, you would just go to pull like this and then you're ready to keep your tripod in your pocket or in your camera bag if you prefer. And it doesn't even give you a cold shoe on the top at all. It's just a pure phone holder that you can use your phone to record some vlogs with. So, but I think this is going to be a cute little block tripod anyways. So, and right now, I just finished talking about the conclusions and my final thoughts about this, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Hmm, how fast is it, Ricky? And the camera is blurry again! For obvious reasons. Damn you. Oh, there we go. And as you can see right now, I have my unseen content folder inside this USB drive. And as you can see right now, I have three of the videos that I'm going to view. And right now, I'm going to go for a second one, which is basically a video where I have reviewed a bunch of tripods in a Danpod style. And right now, I'm going to click on that and wait for it. And so that, this is a mini octopus tripod that I bought it for so cheap at the price of 16 Thailand bucks. So, as you can see here, this pipe... Alright, that's enough. And you can clearly see that right now the video was playing and then I have to stop the playback. And right now I'm going to scrub through the video like a boss. And you can clearly see that when I scrub through the video, it works perfectly fine, like nothing happened. And when I play this part here, it looks fine. It looks fine like nothing happened. Oh well, that not such an outro. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So, for the video test right here on this USB drive, which I'm gonna say... It works like nothing happened. And... Oh well, that video, it was basically a video where I have reviewed a bunch of me tripods in a tampon style. This is basically me doing a review of a Lessig Rarier mic. And you can clearly see that the video right here is basically me doing a review on a Lassic mic. And you can clearly see that this is me back in early 2022. And you're going to hear the exact same voice as what it is right now today. So, as you can clearly see that this is me in the video. And you can clearly see that I was 16 back then. And if I'm going to compare it to the today, which I'm going to use my camera to do all of this for comparison. So again, this is me back in early 2022, and I was 16 at the time, and here it is today. And you can clearly see that right now, I'm wearing glasses, and I'm wearing a black champion hat. And you can clearly see that the reason why I wear glasses is because if I take out my glasses, it's going to be blurry. And you can see the exact same person as what it shows in the video, which is basically me. <laughs> and you can see that right now I take off my glasses and you can see that this is the same person. The same person, guys. Alright, that's enough video testing. That's enough. And you can clearly see that right now I have all of them in my USB drive. And right now I'm going to eject it like that. And right now, I'm going to unplug from my computer, and then I'm going to put it onto my phone to see if my phone will recognize. And right now, I have my phone on, and you can clearly see that right now, I have a USB drive for transferring data and media. And you can clearly see that I have left some files on it too, and you can see that I got a lot of data again, and system wall information, which somehow is just disappearing in my computer. And you can see that I have left the scene content on there. And if I'm going to play one of them, like this one here, for example, for instance, if I'm going to play this video here, it's going to play. And you can clearly see that right now the video is playing. Hi there. So in this video, 
that the camera's blurry again. Okay, so that's enough video. I'm going to go for a landscape this time. Alright, that's enough video testing here. Check that. There we go. It works. Alright, so one well, of my conclusions that I have with this USB drive go right here. And despite its loss of its 10% of its actual capacity, which I'm gonna say it's not going to be the deal of having a 460 gigabytes of actual capacity inside this, but I think it is actually an requirement to a final 12 gigabytes of storage anyways, but since it's just lost its 10% of its actual capacity. And this thing right here is going to be a useful item to keep your data with you at all time. Or else, your computer or your old laptop would get a ransomware attack and then it encrypts all your files and then this thing right here is going to save your life. Because you have your own data on it and you have everything bring back up on this mini size USB flash drive here. You can actually see that it has a clicky noises when you are going to switch between this drive here or this drive, which you can use it on your iPad Pro too, if we want to use with your Type-C stuff. And alright, so what are my final thoughts that I have with this? I think I will have to rewind the video all over again. So you ready? It's rewind time! Oh well, just simple. More capacity, more fun. So, this is the only final thoughts that I have with this thing. Which, oh well, I think I will probably going to back up all of my data from my O52 laptop to this. And then I can actually move this data all around like a mid-sized laptop that I can put your files on there or there or anywhere you go. And alright, that's basically it for a review of the both things that I got here, the tripod and the thumb drive. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to leave us a like, comment, and also, the most importantly, is to subscribe to my channel. And I do appreciate that. And we'll see you guys later, all around the world, where I'm going to do more quality content like this for you guys. And alas, for now. Give me that.